Welcome to the FIM Asia Supermoto Highlights show, bringing you all the action from the four rounds of Supermoto happening in Asia in 2016. Over the next 15 minutes, we'll be bringing you all the action from round one here in stunning Australia. The riders, the fans, the track, and of course, both qualifying and race day as well. Located 162 kilometers north-northeast of Sydney at the mouth of the Hunter River, Newcastle is a truly beautiful coastal city here on the east coast of Australia. Famous for its coal, Newcastle was founded in 1787 and has since become the largest coal exporting harbour in the world. Beyond the city stretches the beautiful Hunter Valley. It's a quiet place where life is taken at a stroll, but this weekend, for the first time hosting an international supermoto event, the pace is about to get much quicker. Newcastle is the first of four stops on this year's Asia Supermoto Championship with round two set for Indonesia while round three will be in the Philippines followed by the finale in Kuala Lumpur at the end of the year. Newcastle itself has a humid subtropical climate typical to the Australian East Coast. Summers tend to be warm and at times humid while winters are generally mild. Rain is heaviest in late autumn and early winter which means the riders could face a stiff test in this critical opening round. Being Supermoto there is not actually a big issue whether it rains, uh, whether it's flooded, you know, to a certain extent, the race, it, it can proceed. The riders will have to uh, fit certain uh, equipment on the bikes, like for example, a rain tyre, which give them more grip. And, and uh, hopefully tomorrow have a dry weather, no rain, and it will be safe. If it's raining, well, you got, it will be very, very Slippery. Is well, there's probably not what everyone was hoping for, having pretty much uh, a torrential downpour today, you know, but uh, we're on the same boat. We're all out there riding on the same track at the same time. So regardless of uh, if the weather's fine or uh, if it's going to be wet, you know, it's going to be the best man wins. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go out there and give it everything I got. The track itself was designed by Barry Reed, the father of Australian motocross champion Chad Reed, and was meticulously crafted in the week prior to race day by Graham Boyd and his team of organizers. It measured 929 meters long and, like all supermoto tracks, featured multi surfaces to test rider skill to the max. For this first round, the track featured 600 meters of road track and 329 meters of off road jumps and turns. Turn one off the main straight led into the dirt section with a tight left-hand corner that led directly into three jumps. These jumps then banked right into a wide corner, then set off another three jumps, which led onto the straight that joins the road track. Two chicanes are featured on the back straight with a full right hairpin to lead on to the faster section of the circuit and complete the lap. A tough course, no doubt, but that's what it's all about. So with the track set and the riders all here, it's time to get the 2016 FIM Asia Supermoto Championship underway. Next up, qualifying Saturday, followed by the opening race. Don't forget, if you want to know more about Supermoto, you can get all the news, views, results and schedules on www.supermotoasia.com. Hi, I'm Hasroy Osman from Singapore. Catch me at the Malaysian finale of the FIM Asia Supermodel Championship. Qualifying Saturday has turned out sunny and breezy, but with rain over the past two days, that means that the dirt sections of the track could still prove tricky and treacherous. The riders are all champions from around the world and have set up their bikes to suit, eager to set a benchmark for the rest to follow. Battling 75 km an hour winds was also a must for the 30 riders taking part from some 12 nations, so it was no surprise to see all the teams, Australian and international, fine-tuning their setups to accommodate the new conditions. The riders were focused and ready. They all knew that a good showing on Saturday can easily lead to another good showing on Sunday. As it turned out, it was smooth sailing for almost all the teams and the race was run with no problems on or off the track. And after a full day of qualifying in race one, it was the Australian riders who came through on home soil, taking the first four spots. Luke George came out on top with Michael Kirk as second and Luke Richards third. The highest Asian rider was from Malaysia, Ahmed Habibullah in sixth, with Hairi Zakaria next, finishing in ninth. 
All in all, after the sudden change in weather, the riders were very happy with the track and looking forward to the main race on Sunday, where they would be looking to best the Australian riders who dominated race one. One of the special guests who made an appearance to witness that domination was New South Wales native, three-time world superbike champion and former MotoGP rider, Troy Bayliss. Uh, here with Troy Bayliss. Troy, fantastic to have you down here. Now, first of all, before we get into everything else, you're from New South Wales, right? Yes, I'm originally from New South Wales. Um, Newcastle is only 160 kilometres from my hometown. I've done a lot of racing here in the past as a junior and uh, I'm really happy to be back here. Like in Newcastle at this event, it's a great location, everyone's having a great time, it's great to see all the international riders here. How special is it to have an international leg, the FIM Asia Supermoto here in Newcastle? No, it's really great, I, I see Asia's really been kicking on the last couple of years and uh, it's really nice to see like the sport really coming on and um, Luke George is a real surprise, like um, the, the section here with the dirt is, is actually suiting the motocross boys a little bit more, whereas today uh, they've smoothened it out a little bit, so it's closed up the racing. We've seen some really nice racing this morning, but it is great to see um, you know, our guys up there, and um, it's going to be a good day of racing. For the organisers and the 40,000 fans recorded over the weekend, it was an incredible sight to see 450cc supermotard bikes ridden by the best riders in the world flying around a custom-built track in their city. They turned up in droves on Saturday and Sunday to sample all the great attractions from the surrounding motorcycle exhibitions and events that were dotted around the track, but mainly to hear the roar and feel the speed of high-performance supermoto competition. It's good something different to come and have a look at, and especially involving dirt bikes, yeah, so you can't, it's a win-win. Are you surprised in any way at the turnout of the people? Oh, not at all. No, nah, Newcastle's a lot of dirt bike riders around Newcastle, so I'm sure they're want to keen to come and have a look? Uh, you've got to say it's a great idea for Newcastle and the Novocastrians. Uh, they've done a heck of a lot of work doing it and most people like motorbikes. Come on, everyone loves motorbikes and that's part of it and the kids love it, the adults love it. Look at the people we have here. It just shows how good it is. If you're a motorbike enthusiast, uh, dirt, road, it's the same. It's a motorbike. It's lovely. Uh, look, it's phenomenal. It, the, the amount of uh, people that it actually brings and the amount of business that it actually brings to the area is phenomenal. I, I suppose uh, a lot of dads like uh, bikes and like this type of thing, so being here with their families is phenomenal. We're off for a short break, but when we return, race day from round one of the FIM Asia Supermoto Championship 2016. If you want to know more about it, you can get all the news, views, results and schedules on www.supermotoasia.com. Hi, I'm Chaz Hearn from Australia. Catch me at the Malaysian finale of the FIM Asia Supermotard Championships. Race day from Newcastle, Australia, round one of four for this year's FIM Asia Supermoto Championship. And all eyes would be on Australian newcomer Luke George, who put in a dazzling performance in his debut race one, and that would set the tone for what would prove to be some incredible racing on Sunday. Another dry night meant the dirt was packed nicely for race day. Plus, the infield dirt section had also been reworked, making it more balanced against the tarmac section. This meant that the full-time dirt riders could not break away too easily from the rest of the pack, as was seen during qualifying. Luke George, though, didn't need the improvements as he swung into action again right from the flag off, grabbing the lead immediately. Starting from the rightmost side of the grid, he bullied his way past everyone else into the first turn, leading to the dirt section. It was Bedlam behind him as 27 other riders jostled amongst themselves for a way through. A stalled rider even caused a three-bike pileup, but thankfully all the riders were able to rejoin without injury. Mohamed Habibullah, or Gabit as he's also known, then started fighting with Alex McLeish while keeping sight of George. McLeish managed to get close on a few occasions, but Gabit responded each and every time. It was clear that Gabit was determined to hold on to his track standing despite being caught out twice by ruts in the dirt section and hairpin. He did enough to control it and not be passed by any other rider, but it was still enough to allow Luke George to retain his lead. 
The Malaysian would have his own problems though, as Alex McLeish started pushing Gubbit hard midway, but he himself found some trouble in the dirt section and Gubbit kept his position. George then needed no other help to cruise to his second win of the weekend, completing his race in 22.33.777 in front of Gubbit with 22.36.097. Andrew McLeish came in third with 22.36.592, but he was deemed to have jumped the start and with no ride through penalty, 10 seconds was then added to his overall time, dropping him to fourth, meaning Michael Kirkness was bumped up to third. The results meant points for both the FIM Asia and Australian Open series were earned. Luke George came out top overall with 50 points, Michael Kirkness in second with 42 points and Gabbitt in third with 37 points in the Australian Open series. While in the FIM Asia Supermoto Championship, Gabbitt is now the overall leader with 50 points, being the highest placed Asian rider in both races. Harry Zakaria is in second with 42 points after finishing second and third highest respectively and Gabit's brother Mohamed Al Amirul Ashashid also known as Gaban is in third after accumulating 40 points. It was a dream come true everything that we had to do we, the bike was awesome the team was awesome we never had any mishaps and, and yeah it was a faultless weekend and, and really enjoyable. No if anything after yesterday when I had the gap that I did on him the track was a lot more um, technical yesterday and um, but yeah, I was, I was really confident coming in. I just had to stay on and be smart and, and I, was, um, I wasn't going to settle for second. This guy's done a hell of a job this weekend, man. The, the rain they got on Thursday and Friday and to have the track rideable like it was yesterday morning is incredible. You know, hats off to them. Uh, the wind yesterday was a bit of a drama, but apart from that, it's been a perfect weekend, you know. Uh, the start's a little bit. The first turn, the way it turns back on itself, there's a few desperados behind us, but that was mainly in the Australia class, to be honest with you, than, the, than it was the FIM one. Minggu ni race memang I sangat-sangat happy. Uh, syukur Alhamdulillah. Uh, FIM Supermoto, I dapat tempat pertama. And uh, Newcastle Pro, I dapat nombor tiga. So, uh, di Newcastle, Australia ni memang rider yang sangat-sangat laju dan banyak rider yang power. So, Gabit mampu uh, beri beri apa uh, tenaga yang cukup Gabit uh, fight dengan orang. So uh, pada race 2 tadi memang uh, luck Gabit sebab starting Gabit dapat uh, tempat ketiga. So kurang sikit ada halangan. So Gabit boleh lari. Uh, track dekat Newcastle memang sangat-sangat sangat-sangat uh, cantik. Uh, memang Gabit suka track off road lebih daripada off road dan road. So, syukur Alhamdulillah, uh, first kali Gabi nak cakap terima kasih uh, Supermoto FIM Asia and Newcastle Supermoto uh, beri support dan sokongan uh, padu pada Gabi dan terima kasih kepada negara Gabi Malaysia. Thank you very much. That's it for us this month but look out for our highlights show next month on location in Malang, Indonesia and round two of the FIM Asia Supermoto Championship. The countdown to that event was started in Newcastle itself as the organisers passed the baton to the Indonesian organisers themselves in Australia at a special motorsports tourism conference held at Newcastle City Hall in a bilateral meeting between two cities organised by the Asia Supersports Group. That's in a few weeks and we will be there along with all the action. Don't forget, if you want to know more about it, you can get all the news, views, results and schedules on www.supermotoasia.com.